Hi everyone, Kelly Callahan, VP of Marketing here at Algorand. I have the privilege today of sitting down with a number of people that are doing some amazing things on Algorand. It's inspiring to see so many organizations like those we have today building on our open source platform. Um, so today we have Claudio Paranello from Planet Watch. We have Thomas Arul from Bloomy. We have Sven Valfels from Monarium. And we have Michelle Deha from Rand Labs. Uh, so welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for joining. We're going to start with, I'll give you a chance to introduce yourselves as we sort of go through. Um, this is a really interesting story, more focused on crypto payments and the ecosystem that's been built up and the, the plugins and tools that have been built up to really replace some of the traditional systems that are currently out there. We're going to start with Claudio from Planet Watch. He's the CEO and founder there. Um, Claudio, you actually have extensive use of blockchain throughout your business model. Um, but give us a quick overview. Who's Planet Watch and what are you selling specifically? Right. Okay. Hi, Kelly. Thanks all for this opportunity to talk about Planet Watch. So I'm CEO and founder of Planet Watch. We are a, a, a startup based in France, very close to Switzerland, actually, very close to CERN, the largest physics research center in the world. Uh, for a number of reasons, including the fact that we are a close partner of CERN, we are a CERN spin off, technically speaking. Okay, what do we do? For the time being, we are selling online some uh, air quality sensors for our uh, community. So let's call them uh, consumer grade air quality sensors, which are part of our strategy to deploy networks uh, fast and seamlessly. So, in order to be seamless in this uh, process, it's important to have a seamless payment ma method. So, we were very happy to integrate uh, you know, our uh, WooCommerce uh, engine, uh, Lumi, which uh, it's a very, it's an outstanding payment solution for people who are an interface between a global community and crypto communities. So Bloomy, we integrated Bloomy, Bloomy very quickly and seamlessly in a few days time. And we're quite happy to, to be able now to cater for uh, crypto payments as well as fiat payments. Thanks. So, you're, so, you had, so you had an existing e-com platform to sell your product that plugs yeah. into this, this blockchain monitoring separately from that. So you sell these monitors, uh, these sensors, you had WooCommerce in place and decided that you needed to take it to the next level to also accept crypto or digital assets. Exactly. And uh, so we achieved this very quickly and very easily, thanks to Bluebeam, okay. which is great. So we are now accepting payment in USDC, uh, Monerium, and eventually also in our own token, which is Planet token, which is an Android standard asset. Uh, we are particularly uh, keen to accept Monerium payments because we are a Europe-based company and Monerium is a, it's a great <laughs> endeavor to put uh, yeah. euros on the blockchain. Right, and we'll get, and we'll get to that. And you're, you are are your consumers uh, that are purchasing this via ecom? Are they coming from uh, all countries? Are they all over? Are they global? Global distribution there? Yes, we are aiming to that in any case. So we're, for a time, most of the customers are from the European Union and the UK, but we are, uh, we are, we are already accepting uh, pre-orders from the US, so the US is instrumental to that. And of course, we aim at a global expansion in the coming months. Excellent. Great. Uh, Thomas, moving over to you, uh, Claudio has mentioned Bloomy quite a few times. Can you give us a quick intro on uh, Bloomy, Bluepay, and the solution that you're providing here? Hey, thank you, Kelly, for doing this. Um, uh, my name is Thomas Harul. Uh, I'm CEO and co-founder of uh, Bloomy. Um, again, we are a Boston-based uh, startup uh, on the payment space, on the blockchain payment space. So we've been partners with Algorand for the past two years. Uh, we've been working with Algorand very closely. So uh, we have this product, Bloomy Pay, uh, which is an all-in-one global digital currency payment platform. Uh, it can enable payments, payouts, and microtransactions. Uh, as you all know, with digital currency, uh, it's quick, secure, it's global, there's no chargeback. Uh, we support, uh, we are non-custodial. That means uh, the fund flows from the customer to the merchant directly when we don't have access to the fund. And we are blockchain agnostic. We support multiple blockchain, but uh, Algorand is our key partner. And once we support the blockchain like Algorand, automatically all the digital currencies in that platform get supported. Uh, you know, right now Algorand has uh, Monerium, uh, USDC. Uh, so we, once we support uh, blockchain, all the stable coins are supported, as well as all the Algorand assets. Like you know, uh, you can also start accepting in algos, 
as well as any uh, token that is created in algorithm. So it's all configuration. There's nothing to uh, program. Just check the box. Hey, I want to accept uh, Monarium. I want to accept USDC, uh, or I want to accept this token uh, automatically. The merchant is provided uh, with the option. The customer can choose uh, and pay whatever he's willing to do. Another thing also is that we do support multiple uh, shop e-commerce plugins uh, like WooCommerce, Magento, OpenCart, uh, ZenCart. So for a customer like uh, PlantWatch, it was since they already had a WooCommerce implementation of the store, uh, it's just a couple of hours of work to configure Gloomy Pay and start. Like, they, all I do is download the plugin uh, from the merchants, uh, from the shop uh, website and start uh, accepting digital currency, as simple as that. Yeah, it's amazing to see how easy this is becoming a part of it. Like, you know, I think a year or two years ago, these things were hard to figure out or they were only payment rails for Bitcoin, right? And now it's becoming so much more accessible, so much more open. And and to your point, there's multiple e-com platforms you, you um, support. There's multiple blockchains that you support, right? So uh, Claudio and Thomas, so, you know, Planet Watch has the e-com platform. Uh, Bloomy has the plugin where they can plug in and um, enable the acceptance of crypto payments, which checks that box, solves that problem. Uh, why the Algorand version on uh, for Planet Watch's um, uh, crypto uh, digital asset acceptance? Well, uh, I mean, we we've been partnering with uh, Algorand for more than a year now. It all started with a great meeting with Sylvia McCabe. And uh, Algorand is just perfect for our uh, for our business, for our use case, uh, because of its scalability, its centralization, security, and also, let me say, because of the very friendly, very supportive ecosystem altogether. So, okay, technically, uh, uh, transaction fees are minimal, uh, which is good, but it's, it's not just that. It's that the, the whole experience is seamless, and it's very easy to create your own assets on uh, the Algorand blockchain, and uh, lots of important functionalities are built at, at layer one. So, I mean, we we don't see a better match for our business at the moment, and, uh, okay. and we won't see most likely in, in the future as well. Yeah, and then, and then Thomas, uh, Claudio mentioned minimal transaction fees, and Sven, I want to get your take on this as we move over to the Monarium story as well. But uh, Thomas, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know, Algorand. There are multiple reasons. One is uh, they're a great partner uh, to work with. And once we when when we started the company, um, so you know Ethereum was the leading uh, blockchain, and we wanted to disrupt the payment space uh, with uh, you know blockchain based payment. But right now, it doesn't make any sense to any transaction Ethereum because uh, it's more expensive than to do in a Visa or a Mastercard. But uh, with Algorand, its cost is almost micro pennies, and also the time it takes. You know, you get almost a near real time settlement, and the fund flows from the customer to the merchant directly. So that's very interesting. Uh, to disrupt this industry, you need a blockchain like Algorand, uh, which is fast, secure, and most importantly, the cost is hardly anything to do any transaction. Yeah, okay. And moving over, yeah, right, because th this whole this whole sort of story that we're, we're looking at here, this is all based on the fact that merchants and consumers, merchants more specifically, uh, are in a tight spot when they're looking at three to five uh, percent transaction fees, depending on where they are in the globe and multiple days to settle. So this is solving for a whole bunch of those issues, which is really interesting and in how, it, you know, coming back to Claudio, like how it really changes his business model and his dynamic. Sven, let's move over. Tell us, uh, Sven is CEO of Monarium. Um, you know, stable coins, uh, they provide less volatility. Uh, to be honest, it's a more normal way of transacting instead of looking at some of the volatility of crypto assets that are out there. So stable coins have seen uh, quite a bit of traction this year specifically. Uh, the euro, interestingly enough, is the second most traded currency. So highly important in sort of bridging that massive traditional financial system into um, more digital one on Algorand. So Sven, can you give us a quick overview of Monarium and what Monarium is doing in this space? Uh, yes, thank you, Kelly. Um, we're a Reykjavik Iceland-based startup, uh, and we're the first company authorized to issue money on blockchains in Europe. So unlike many other jurisdictions, uh, Europe already has a framework for digital cash in place. And uh, last year, we became the first company authorized to uh, issue money. That's to say dollars, euros, or kroner, sterling, 
whatever on blockchains. Um, now, uh, what we do, our premise, uh, and, and Claudia and Thomas and then uh, Michelle will describe how this, this is all coming together. Uh, in there's a there's a, a Planet Watch is selling the sensors. They are the merchant, so to speak, but a merchant at the cost of monitoring the the health of the planet and the atmosphere. Uh, Thomas is uh, providing uh, Bloomy the the payment rails. We are the ones that are providing the money uh, into the payment rails that will be used that the users and consumers and merchants can access through the, uh, also Michelle's uh, wallet. So, so we're the money point. We're, we're like a bank, uh, but we're not. All, we 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 safely store, but we don't lend. We just safely store the money, and we seamlessly move it from uh, the existing European uh, banking infrastructure onto the blockchain and back. So uh, you can use the euros on Algorand the same way as you would move the euros inside the European banking system. Or the same way you pass a euro note between people on the street. So this is so if I had uh, you know Monarium's uh, digital euro in my digital wallet, it's backed one to one by a euro. It exists somewhere as a euro, the same way that a euro in a bank account would exist. Yeah, it's been more than one to one. We actually have a regulatory requirement to back it more than one to one, and. So, so first we're authorized and then we're uh, regulated. So it means we regularly have to report to the um, our regulator how much reserves we have and all that. So, so it's more than one to one backed uh, by the euro. Um, and it, in some respects, it's safer than keeping money in a bank uh, because it's it, it is not uh, linked in any way to lending. Um, uh, because we're not a credit institution, so we don't issue loans, we don't uh, carry out any credit activities, we just safely store. We're, we're a very simple form of financial institution. Our role here is just to safely store and then link from the um, banking infrastructure to the SEPA, the instant SEPA uh, system in Europe, and to Algorand blockchain. And amazingly, because um, I believe Thomas and, and both Claudia mentioned the, the costs involved. But by, by issuing the, the euro on the Algorand blockchain, um, with the transaction costs actually, they go down to a fraction of the euro cent. So a use case like Planet Watch, which um, requires a, a massive number of transactions uh, uh, that would not be feasible in the existing infrastructure where transactions are much more expensive and it take much longer to perform. But we've been partnering with Algorand since shortly after Algorand was launched. We've been previously, we've also issued money on Ethereum. But Algorand uh, immediately uh, appealed to us because it's the first uh, provenly scalable proof of stake uh, blockchain. And also in the context of Planet Watch, uh, the, the, it doesn't require energy to update Algorand. It's actually very green. So, so uh, it's very appropriate that Planet Watch should be using Algorand to support its use case, um, including from the environmental perspective. Oh, that, that's great that you brought that up. I think that goes, uh, that gets missed a lot. So uh, that's an interesting point, Sven. Um, thanks so much. And again, Claudia, this goes back to most of your customers that are purchasing your sensors are European based. So the Monarium. Uh, digital euro is important, but you're also accepting a couple other stable coins, including USDC and um, and the Planet token, less a stable coin, but the token of your own network. Um, and then tying this all together, uh, Michelle, can you just run us through Rand Labs and and uh, uh, how the wallet comes into play and sort of is the uh, the last missing piece that consumers need? Whether my algo, some I know there's a number of other wallet providers. Give her give us a quick update on the my algo wallet. Great, yeah. So I'm Mitchell, I'm the co-founder of Randlabs. And Randlabs, one of the main products is a MyAlgo wallet, which, you know, in simple terms, it's just a, a wallet, but more so the way we see it is like the browser of Algorand, right? It's, it enables a portal to access the Algorand economy and interact with it. And, and, and that's like the vision for MyAlgo to enable people to be able to handle their own private keys, however they deem best, to be able to spend their money either you know through bloomy pay paying through merchants around the, the world 
or by participating in, in DeFi or lending or investment products uh, and all the different ways that algorithms technology can be leveraged, right? Even to the point of signing in uh, with your private keys to other, you know, social networks or, or to platforms, uh, all using, you know, the, the safeguard of your own identity, right? Uh, which is very different than the centralized prey that other, you know, custodial walls have been used or, or centralized logins credentials right and um, so that's kind of a, how we see myago enabling sophisticated users or newcomers to have a pretty easy time in interacting with the algorithm chain and spending money or transacting with it in other external applications such as bloomy or or, or claudius planet watch uh, or even monarium right using all the assets that are launching on on, on algorithm that are enabling this you know borderless economy and leveraging the you know no jurisdictions right because you can be you can spend money anywhere in the world at the speed of you know any financial network today and at the fraction of the cost of, of today's system excellent great okay well everyone thank you for taking the time to sort of walk through this again i think this is a really interesting story there's a lot of things like this, puzzle pieces being brought together in the Algorand ecosystem. Uh, it's great to see uh, the components coming together and how they're really solving end-to-end -end, uh, problems that have existed, making business models more efficient, bringing you know, efficiencies, transparencies, securities, and, and just improving business models all the way across the board. So thank you all for taking the time to join and uh, appreciate you being here. Thanks.